No introduction. Fiona on how to keep your head from exploding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, lots of heckling, please. Hi, everybody. I'm Fiona Schlachter, and I have managed hundreds of meetings, events, and projects. Woo! It's what I do. And I want to share some of that, uh, some learning from that with you. And you're thinking, oh, no, projects. Yeah, let's talk about that. There's all kinds of projects in your life, right? There's uh, the volunteer projects, right? There's maybe a cause you care about. Maybe you want to move a train, something that you want to do. Um, and so those are projects, anything that's got a start and an end date and an intended outcome, hopefully. So um, I want to liven up the room so I can't really see you all, but let's hear about some of your volunteer projects. Besides, girl, girls in Dallas, OK. Ignite DFW. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, and then there's work, right? Work is full of projects, right? You could be on a team to design software, uh, build a house, d decorate a commercial space, market cigarettes to kids, you know, work stuff. Just stuff you do at work. So now I want to hear about your favorite work projects. Oh. <laughs> Sleep. Art? Theater. Okay. Infection control, that's good. I should think about that at work, okay. <laughs> and then there's your friends and family. Um, so you do stuff with them all the time. There are projects, like this is homework. Might be cleaning the yard, might be planning a party or a vacation to Cuba. Isn't everybody going to Cuba? Yes. Uh, so last time, tell me about your friends and family projects. Remodeling. Remodeling, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a project, yes. Garage. Laundry, yeah, yeah, one of my favorites. I'm always glad I live in 2015 when I do laundry. Okay, so the thing about projects, here's your first tip, is set realistic expectations about what you can do. We get excited, we wanna be involved, we promise all kinds of things. Be there every Thursday at two, you bet. Post by next Friday at one, I got it, I'm on it. Um, so we set these expectations and the projects get planned and here we go, all in a straight line, looks good. And then reality, that bastard shows up and we get squiggly. It's okay to get squiggly, it's okay. You just gotta tell your project lead, hey, I got this thing, it came up, and then they can plan around it. It's no big deal, they just, you just gotta tell them. It's okay to get squiggly. Now, the other thing we do sometimes, there is all this cool stuff, and we wanna do everything. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that, and so uh, we overcommit. So if you find yourself late a lot, or people asking you two or three times for the same thing, you, my friend, might be an overcommitter. And that's where the trouble starts, right? So these people were expecting this straight line. They didn't hear from you. And um, so then things didn't happen. They were supposed to happen. And yeah, nobody wants that unless you live in South Park, Colorado. Um, heads can explode. And I want to help you try to avoid that here tonight. And then the other thing that can happen is disappointment. So this guy had three friends who were gonna help him every Saturday for a couple hours remodel this car. It was an awesome project. Um, now he's by himself, kind of sad. <laughs> oh, okay. The next one, uh, and the next tip is about um, being accountable. This is a scientific study from 1968, and I have found this to hold true. If uh, people say they'll do something and you let them slide on it, they do it again and again. But if you hold, their, hold them accountable, things get done. So to all the project leaders out there, when you're asking people about what they said they do, holding them accountable, remember, it's not nagging, it's science. And that's what Neil says. <laughs> it's science. There's really something to it. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that was him moving. Did he move? Oh, OK, good. OK. Looks like he got stuck, though. Neil's stuck. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Yay, Neil. Okay, yeah, science bitches. <laughs> All right, okay, let's go. Okay, okay, and then another tip is stay focused, okay? Remember what you signed up for and get it done. Yeah, get it done. And if you can't, tell someone. Just let them know. The, yeah, it's really, it's, it's going to work for you. Because that's what it's all about, right? Amazing experiences and getting shit done. And here's the most adorable example of someone not staying focused. <laughs> Love, Doug. Uh, but don't be that person, right? If you made a commitment and you can't keep it, tell someone. They'll love you like 
Carl loves Doug. And so there you are, my three hard-earned experiences distilled down to three tips. Be realistic about what you can do, be accountable, and stay focused. It's easy, those three things. Because <laughs> if you don't, then this will happen again and again, or not at all, perhaps. Uh, yeah, ooh, that's bad. So on behalf of me and other project leaders and our poor Zach Braff, don't let that happen. Okay, so say it with me. It's okay to get squiggly. It's totally fine. You just have to tell other people. Um, and my last slide is dedicated to Matt Alexander, who is not here, by the way. Yeah, right. His, his talk in July was all animated GIFs, so that's for Matt. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.